fool. It's because you have enough wisdom to come and listen to me this morning. Amen. You have enough wisdom to leave everything and say you are coming to church. You have enough wisdom to give your life to Jesus. You have enough wisdom to say, no, I'm not going to waste my life. I'm going to equip myself. I'm going to build up myself. You know why we come to church? is to do what? Edify ourselves. To build up ourselves. This job of the pastor, look at Ephesians chapter uh, 4, is to do what? To help you to build your life. Every time you come to church, don't spend that time looking for Facebook, looking for WhatsApp. No, 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 no. That's not the time for that. There's time for everything. I can say to the church, there's time for everything. When you're in church, it's not the time to chat. That's not the time for Instagram. That's not the time for LinkedIn or whatever, or Twitter or whatever. Somebody say amen. amen. That's not the time to build my life. That's the time to build my career. That's the time to build my soul. I'm here this morning to talk to you about redeeming the time. What is time? Time is an observed phenomenon by means of which human beings sense and recall changes in the environment and in the universe. A literal definition is a lucid action. Time has been called an illusion, a dimension of smooth flowing continuum, and an expression of separation among events that occur. So it's a big grammar. So it's a big grammar. Big grammar. You know, you don't understand that. That's too much for you. Let me pull it down. Okay, go to the next slide. According to Miles Monroe, time is an interruption of eternity. Time is a measure of eternity. Time is a piece of eternity. Time is a slice of forever. Time is a limited period during which an action of process exists and takes place. Time is a measure of space. What he's saying is that, hello? Are you here? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sleeping? No. Are you awake? Yes. Glory be to God. Amen. What is saying is time is just a space. A space of eternity. Before you are born, you have many things. How many of you are born in 1901 here? <laughs> Oh, okay, so what of 1950? Not, not you, amen? Many of you are born when I finished school. I got my PhD in 1995. How many of you are born before 1995? Someone say amen. amen. So time is just a space that you have. Time cannot really be defined, but we do our best to define it. Time is a strange commodity. Time is one commodity we all have. Whether you are a billionaire or you are a beggar, yeah, time is a strange commodity. We can't save it. Someone say we can't save it. We can't save it. We can't retrieve it. We can't retrieve it. We can't relieve it. We can't relieve it. We can't stretch it. We can't stretch it. We can't recycle it. We can't recycle it. We can't borrow it. We can't borrow it. We can't loan it. We can't share it. We can't stop it. We can't store it. We can't recall it. You can only use it or lose it. You can only use time or lose it. Oh, I'm going to store it when I come back. And no, no, no. You can't recall it. What is God is God. What you need to do this morning, you didn't do. There is nothing you can do about it. It is gone forever. That's how important time can be. What is time? Let's go further. Now, let's, according to Paul, what is time? Paul says there is what is called polos and kanos. In the Greek word, the word polos is the chronological word. Never. Time as according to chronology. Many of you celebrate, uh, celebrate birthday. Anybody has celebrated his birthday before? Yes. Have you ever celebrated your birthday? Yes. Yes. Anybody who has a birthday here? Yes. What are you doing on your birthday? Day. You are counting your days. You are what? You are counting your days. You know, when 
you are young, you are very happy, isn't it? But you are going old, you need to wonder what is going on. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I have five girls to the glory of God. And that uh, one of my daughters just graduated from one of them. Amen. And uh, took her out. And uh, a younger sister. And the younger sister, I said, I wanted to advise them and talk to them about time, just as I'm doing. I said, so how old are you? The younger sister says, I'm 18. I said, how old, how old are you? He said, 22. I said, what did you say? He said, I wish I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the more you grow older, the more you wish you are younger. And those things are more important, particularly if you don't use your time well. If you use your time well, there's no regret. But if you don't use it well, oh my God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. So Paul tells us that Colossus is what? When you are 20, you are 30 years old. Let's go to the next one. The word redeeming the time is not talking about Colossus. It's talking about Canos. Paul is saying that look, you must know what? The moment, the opportunity, the doors that are open. What you feel if you are, how old are you still? Uh, 2019. Eh? 2019. Oh, yes, you are still young. Give him a big hand. <laughs> what space you have occupied for 19 years? For 19 years of your life, what have you used it for? That's what the Bible is asking about. The Bible is not bothered about 10, 40, but it's asking you, how much of this time have you used? What did you do? You are occupying a space. Tell me, you are doing what? Occupying a space in life for a few hours, few days, few years. After that, you are gone. Whether you like it or not, death will come. Death doesn't make me. Death doesn't take permission. Uh, can I kill you now? No, no, death doesn't do that. He just kills you and not wants to kill you. And people will be saying, oh, he is dead. He's dead. That's it. There's nothing you can do about that. That's, what, that's his job. He kills people. May you not die young. I say, may you not die young. You didn't hear me. May you not die young. Say amen. amen. Say after me. Psalm 118. Psalm 118. Verse 17. Verse 17. Says, I will live. I will live. I will not die. I will not die. And I will declare. And I will declare. The good works of God. The good, good works of God. My prayer for you is that you will live long. Amen. Give the Lord amen. a good time. Amen. Take me. 
And you say, hmm. And then we pass. When we pass, you now look at it. Say, oh, opportunity. No, no, no. There is nothing to hold. Give the Lord a big hand. Don't miss your opportunity. Give him a big hand. God bless you.